from LA Late News headquarters in Santa Monica. This is Mornings, LA Late. It's a big morning on Morning LA. As uh, Thanksgiving stimulus checks heat up, these are huge checks and they're coming also on Black Friday. We'll go over these Black Friday stimulus checks and Thanksgiving stimulus checks in today's recording. Nearly $300,000 of them, and I'll show you how to get them. They're huge. And yet, the breaking news also big today as well. The breaking news was the consumer price index for the prior month was released in the last 24 hours. And we'll look at the headline number. Did it go up? Did it go down? Then we'll look at the component parts. They don't match up with the headline number, and it's fascinating. The reaction to the news, not so fascinating. As Wall Street did that same ridiculous thing they always do. Fed pivot. Do they think the Federal Reserve's on Dancing with the Stars not happening? The latest details on why they tried to say there's going to be a Fed pivot and what the reaction from the Federal Reserve was quickly and swiftly as well. Well, the latest details on that in today's recording. Plus, we'll be looking at the Bank of England that impacts your wallet. The Bank of England warned its citizens that major trouble is on the horizon. What does it mean for your wallet? All the latest details across the board. And then back in the States, one of the major heads of the U.S. banks gave a new indication about the capital markets and what they should be enduring early next year. Fascinating. I'll have that breaking news as well. Plus, a major player in the cryptocurrency story and saga is now in bankruptcy this morning. I'll go over the reaction to the news and the reaction from the SEC chairman, Gary Gensler. Is this the end of cryptocurrency as we once knew it? Is this the end of nearly half a dozen or more YouTube channels and what they always recorded about cryptocurrency? It's a breaking news story and it's happening just minutes ago. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, good morning. The toast is toast and the butter is buttering on America's most watched show at the morning for financial news. It's LA Light and we have a lot of deliciousness to go over, a lot of money, and a lot of stimulus. Go under this video, become a member, say the Big Cat second half as this one hour show live on air from the shores of Santa Monica gets underway on another big, bull, beautiful morning of Mornings LA Light. Good morning, everybody. Hope you're having a beautiful day. It is gorgeous here along the coast of Santa Monica, California, and a big week is underway as the Consumer Price Index number was released. And we'll have a reaction to the news, plus one of the major players in the cryptocurrency market gone in bankruptcy this morning. And yes, big stimulus. It's a big day. It's a big broadcast. It's a big morning. And I'm excited you're here on Morning Daylight. How are you? Good morning. Thank you for joining me and being part of this incredible Pearl Power community. The breaking news as we start this morning is stimulus, lifetime stimulus, but the big stimulus at issue is Thanksgiving and Black Friday stimulus checks. Black Friday stimulus checks are coming to millions and millions of Americans, and I'm going to show you how to get these incredible Black Friday stimulus checks. They're free and they're huge. They're coming up in this big broadcast. Also, Thanksgiving stimulus. Even better, how do you get these incredible sums of money? They're coming up in today's recording. Do this, stay with me over this one hour broadcast and put that coffee down because I have some breaking news that may make you shock across the board. The breaking news that we start today is the Consumer Price Index released and it is a shocker. The Consumer Price Index number for the prior month was released and remember, it has a headline number and it has a component number. We've been featuring that CPI on this channel all this year. So first, let's look at the headline, the summary number. The headline numbers show that inflation came in at 0.4% compared to the prior month, which was lower than expected, expected to be at 0.5%. So that was a beat. It was better than expected. Inflation for the headline number was lower than expected. That's great news. Let's look at the year-to-date number compared to the prior year. Was it a beat or a miss? No, it was actually higher. 
So that's not good news. The CPI on an annualized basis was supposed to come in at a 6.5% increase. It came in higher at 7.7%. Now, if you've been with this channel for a long time, you already know what's at play. Last year, I said as the first American broadcast in financial news, the U.S. economy was going to suffer 8% inflation, and that was not going to go away. I said that in spring of 2021. It was 8%. And today, has it gone away? No. Like lobster shorts that just don't go away. <laughs> it hasn't gone away. And we're at 7.7%, .7%, folks. And we were at 8% in December of last year. What type of improvement is that? That's no improvement. It's less than one percentage point. We have not moved this inflation from 8% to now 7.7% .7 in a year of interest rate spikes at the Federal Reserve, which with that, you and I would both say, okay, is there anything to celebrate in this number? Not really. But the reaction to the number was laughable. As soon as the number was released, guess what happened? Yeah, you know what's gonna say, what I'm gonna say. Wall Street went through the roof, straight up 1,000 points. Why? What's good in the numbers here? It showed that inflation had cooled but only on the monthly number. What about the annual number? Well, I'm just going to ignore the annual number. <laughs> it says those analysts on Wall Street. I'm just going to ignore the annual number. You know, the, 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 the annual numbers, yeah, whatever. Uh, what, what, what year? I don't know what year this is. I'll just ignore it. <laughs> the number didn't improve at all. I mean, it improved on a monthly basis, but the uh, barely, but the annual number um, is still 7.7. .7. I mean, we haven't moved it mo no less than 0.3% in one year. Now, here was the, there's like three parts of the story, because this is a lot of breaking news, folks. I got to tell you, there's almost 10 pages of notes for today's broadcast. There's a lot going on with this report. First was, immediately, Wall Street came back with their Dancing with the Stars typical line. Oh, there's going to be a Fed pivot. No, there's not going to be a Fed pivot or a Fed tango or Fed samba. <laughs> It's not happening. There's not going to be a Fed pivot. What do they say? Well, inflation is cool, so maybe the Federal Reserve is going to stop raising rates. You know, it's looking ridiculous at this point. <laughs> you know, I love you. I love you as my viewer. I love you as part of the Purple Power community. Because you may be retired, you may only have a high school education, uh, and you know this and understand this better than people that have three degrees and are paid seven figures a year to analyze this. You and I all know what the Federal Reserve has said to us, because I've been teaching this all this year. And guess what the Federal Reserve did today? They came out and repeated again, as though we had not heard it before. The Federal Reserve has said, inflation needs to get to 2%. Yeah, I remember that, Ally. You said that a thousand times. Yeah, they said that a thousand times at the Federal Reserve. 2%. And they say it has to stay at 2% for several months. Pretty basic, right? 2% several months. So what did Wall Street say? Congratulations, we're at 7.7 uh, .7 for, you know, one month. <laughs> Let's celebrate. The Federal Reserve looked at them and said, you look ridiculous. Who dressed you, Mitch? <laughs> Let's look at the reaction to the news. The reaction to the news was one of the Fed governors actually came out and said, stop it, zip it. <laughs> The Fed pivot was shot down by San Francisco Fed President Mary Daly, who said, one month of data is not a victory. Hello, obvious, but I love that she did that. She said, can you just stop this? Can you stop this silliness that's coming out of your mouth? It's really important to be thoughtful that this is just one piece of positive information, but we're looking at a whole set of information. Again, they're looking at 2% for several months. We're at 7.7, .7, folks. 7.7 .7 ain't going to work. We are resolute to bring inflation down to 2% on average. That's her. That's not me. That's her repeating the same line, eyes on this camera, every day this year. That's our goal, and that's what Americans depend upon, and we're committed to doing it so. And yet, they still tried that Fed pivot. Now, let me tell you two other parts of the story which are really fascinating. First, a new angle to the Fed pivot nonsense. And I want you to understand this because I never heard this to today. And I thought, oh, that's really tricky. I'm not going to fall for that, nor will the Federal Reserve. Series of analysts are now coming out and saying, you know what? When the Federal Reserve raises rates, it takes a few months for it to impact the economy. 
So the Fed will pivot ahead of time because they know what they're going to do is going to impact the numbers in a few months thereafter. Oh, that's really tricky. I see what you're trying to do there, Mr. Pivot. No, the Federal Reserve said, no, we need to see the actual 2% reported in the CPI for three months of CPIs or four months of CPIs. We're not going to stop four months ahead of time saying, oh, we're sort of close to 2%, which, you know, 7.7, it's not. And then we'll get to it, you know, you know, what? no, they're not doing that. And this is why yeah, they're going to force stimulus check in every U.S. state. These incredible force stimulus checks, whether you call them force stimulus or whether you call them stimulus or whether you call them Black Friday, are huge. They're coming on Black Friday. They're coming this week. They're coming for Thanksgiving. They are big. And I'm going to go over all these incredible checks in a second. And as we jump into the core of that CPI number, you're going to see why you have to get the stimulus checks. One of the stimulus checks I covered on this channel over the summer, and I said this in the recordings, was check C. And I said, I, this is last summer. I said, it's the summer, it's August. I want you to go get some utilities. And I, when you get the utilities, I want you to call up the person who you pay your heating oil bill to or, or the gas to heat your home in the summer. And the bill is $1 because <laughs> it's the summer, it's August. And I want you to establish a relationship. And guess what I said in August? By the fall, the utility bills are going to be through the roof. And when you call back in the fall, they're going to remember you. In fact, I specifically actually taught you how to just establish a rapport and talk about their family and, you know, establish relationships so they'll recognize you by name and your anecdotal conversation when you call back in the fall. fall. Well, guess what, folks? Look at this. This is exactly why I taught you that over the summer. And you know what I'm about to say. The utility bills. Look at what happened to utility bills in just the last 30 days. Utility bills in the last 30 days went up. Jump in the live chat. Um, let's do the let's do QA for this. Jump in the live chat. What do you think utility bills, how much they went up in the last 30 days? Just in one month. And then also tell me what you think they went up in one year. Jump in the live chat. Because I think you're going to get it wrong because I was shocked. I'm still staring at it. I'm like, am I reading that right? Yeah, because <laughs> I warned you it was going to be high. But this is, well, I'm giving it away a little bit. It's really high. It's insanely high. Now, what do we also see in this one month? We saw that um, food went up again. It's like a running story. Food went up another 1% in the last month. We were talking about this on this channel all this last week. I specifically said, and I say it again today on Afternoons, which is a brand new show at 3 o'clock, that, you know, I think the food prices went up more this month and the prior month of October than they went up in August or September. I just think they're out of control. And I use a story about soda, which the one and a half gallon of soda used to be, you know, four for a dollar. And then when it's not on sale, it's one fifty. And then I think in maybe August or September, it was like 185. I thought, okay, 185 is getting sort of high there. It's 325 now. And I and I see some of these prices not stopping. So what happened with food? And this is in the CPI. The food went up in compared to the prior month, which was already through the roof, another 1%. So food is now up 11% year to date. All right, let's go back to those. Utility bills. Let's see if you got it anywhere on the ballpark. I know I would have gotten this wrong. Even though I warned you the utility bills are going to go through the roof in November, they went through the roof and went to the sky. The fuel prices went up 19.8% in less than four weeks. Excuse me? They went up 20% in a month? If you haven't looked at your bill yet, you may want to sit down before you look at that bill. Then, if you're going to say, well, it's the winter months, and they always go up, and, you know, it's this. No. I'm going to show you last winter. I'm going to show you last October. What was last October of 2021? How much are we up on an annualized basis? 69%, folks. We are up 69% year-to-date on utility bills. That's no bueno. That's why you have to get this incredible stimulus. I mean, you absolutely have to get it. Which causes you to wonder what went down in these numbers. If the headline CPI was down, 
where is the down when all you're telling me is up? Is there more up in the number? Um, yeah, <laughs> there is more up in the number. Um, the the uh, in Are you ready for this one? Yeah. I had told you that you want to get that check C, that stimulus check C for rent, because the rent is going to go higher. And you and I, we all understood this because you learned so well. It's now too expensive to buy a house. And so if you can't buy a house, can't afford to buy a house, you stay renting. And if you stay renting, everyone else is staying renting. And then there's no vacancies. Well, there's no vacancies. The landlord's going to raise the price of rent. Pretty easy, right? So did rent go up in the, compared to the prior month? It did. And again, it went up last month and the prior month. So rent went up 1% in just one month, folks. Now, how much did rent go up compared to the prior year? Sit down for this. If you're having the toast is toast and the butter is butter and the coffee is brewing, um, <laughs> uh, don't choke on the toast. Because wait till you see how much rent has gone up in one year. Rent in this new CPI number went up 7% in one year. This is the highest rise in a yearly basis since 1982. Through the roof. And that is why you have to get a stimulus check. I have big stimulus for you today. And in this broadcast, we're going to go over these stimulus checks. Let's first go over the overview of them. Black Friday stimulus checks are now available. They're free and they're absolutely incredible. Also, Thanksgiving stimulus. And they're really wonderful. There are three categories of stimulus checks that make up these Black Friday and these Thanksgiving stimulus checks. They are FSEs, ISEs, and LSC. FSEs are federal stimulus checks, and I am going to show you in this broadcast nearly $300,000 of FSC federal stimulus checks that are landing in people's wallets for Black Friday, totally free, and landing in your wallets for Thanksgiving. Then we'll be turning to ISC, inflation relief stimulus checks, that are great as well. They come from the states. And finally, we have lifetime stimulus, because no one's telling you you're getting four raises of your benefits. This is you if you're on SSI, SSDI, and Social Security benefits. More about these big checks in just a second. But let's go back into the CPI because where was the decline? Where was the decline if the headline number was a decline? Remember, the headline number showed that the CPI rose 0.4%, but that was actually lower than expected. So where was the drop if all these numbers are literally through the roof? The drop, if you can guess this, you're doing a really good job. Where do you think there was a drop in prices compared to the prior month? If you said auto, you got it right because you've been watching this channel. Used car prices fell nearly 2.4% in just one month because, again, no one could afford a car on a car loan. Also, what else do you think would have likely fallen? If you said retail, you got it right. Apparel, clothing dropped Considerably, nearly 1% down. Wow. And then this was a number that a lot of analysts and I were shocked with. Medical went down 1% in one month alone. Whoa. So there you go. That is a consumer price index number. So what was the reaction to the news and where are we headed with the news? We have to be resolute to bring inflation down to 2%, says Mary Daly. And... Americans are dependent upon it, and we're committed to doing it, and we will not stop until we get it done. The report overstates the case that inflation is coming down, says Mark Zandi at Moody's. It's pretty clear that inflation has peaked and it's rolling over. Do I agree? Here is what you're going to learn and earn from me brand new as well today. This whole story of Fed pivot is mirrored with another story of inflation peaking. You know what? When you look at the components, you don't see it's peaking. Peaking means it's at the top and it came back down. It has inflation peaked. Has inflation reached its highest number for rent? No. Inflation has not peaked at all for rent. What about food? No. What about for um, travel and leisure? No, of course not. What about for utility bills? No. So if you can find one number that where it's peak, like auto, great. But, you know, I got 30 other parts of inflation that have not peaked. And that's why it's so important to lead with the data. 
It's also important to get these Thanksgiving and Black Friday stimulus checks. Let's look at these incredible stimulus checks. You need them because the situation is getting so complicated and we make it easy on this channel. Let's look at these big sums of money starting right now. These FSC federal stimulus checks started with the president. The president, in the month of March, the president of the United States passed a series of executive actions which established great checks, and they are huge, nearly $100,000. Done by the president of the United States in the month of March, they're huge. You go get them. How do you get them? You become a member. Go right on this video, become a member, Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Casino VIP, and I'm going to show you how to get those incredible checks in the big second half. After the president established those first three checks, of $100,000 FSC, federal stimulus checks, viewers started getting them, and they've gotten them on this channel. I'll go over some of their success stories in today's video as well. Then came along Congress, and Congress passed more checks, E through K, of these FSC checks, and they're paying out for Black Friday. They're paying out for Thanksgiving. Hundreds of incredible checks. I'll go over those checks as well. Then we get into L and M, N and O, P and Q. How do you get these incredible checks? You become a member. Go right down in the video, join this channel, and then you get that membership newsletter as a member, part of the Purple Power community, at 7 o'clock, 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time via the YouTube alerts. You go right down and apply for the incredible checks. And you know what? Let's look at some of those checks right now. Let's start with the very first FSC check. The very first of these Black Friday and Thanksgiving checks, $6,500 to $12,000. Incredible. Just really incredible. $6,500 to $12,000. How do you get this incredible check? Step one, you go in on this video, become a member, Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Casino, VIP. Then go, you go down the newsletter delivered from me to you, Monday through Friday. 7 o'clock Pacific Star Time, 10 o'clock Eastern, 9 o'clock Central. Go down to where it says check A and go right and apply. That's the benefit of becoming a member. I deliver you the newsletter with all the checks and the links to go in and apply. Check B, 15 to 80,000. It's a wonderful check and it's a great check. We have one viewer whose name is, uh, who's, who is out of Florida, and that wonderful uh, Frank Mancuso got stimulus B. And he got it in less than 30 days of being a member. And how much did he get? Nearly $10,000. Another viewer out of Florida, the Purple Power, she got nearly eighty dollars to $100,000 of Check B. That's how you rock and roll. You go right on this video, you become a member, and you go down to where it says Check B and click the link and go right in and apply. Now, Spelly got Check A, but Spelly also got Check C. What is check C? Well, you also want to get check C, and that was what I was talking about earlier in this video. It is rent, utilities, mortgage assistance, and more. You go on this video, become a member. You go down to where it says check C. It tells you who to call, what to say, and how to say it. It's rent, utilities, mortgage assistance, and more. And when you're at check C in the newsletter, it tells you 12 places to contact and call. You do them all. And these are some of the success stories that viewers have gotten for Check C. Do you want to get $30,000 of rent? Well, go get some Check C. Two viewers really recently got another 12 more months of rent. Utilities. There we go. We were just talking about that. You want to get those incredible utilities. I trained you earlier this year to start getting those utilities before the utility bills go higher. Hope you did. If you just found this channel, no worries. You can still get them. You go get Check C. And here's Mark. At $6,500, his brother-in-law got $15,000. Snap. We have Mark's brother-in-law who got a quarter million dollars. Combinations of checks. Nisu at $23,000. She went to $50,000. Mark was at $32,000. He went to $166,000. Just incredible for Mark. He first went to fifty, dollars then one hundred, dollars Then he got check B. And here's Lorraine. She was at one hundred five. dollars She went to one fifty-five. dollars So you need to remember the following steps. Go into this video. Subscribe. Go into this video, join the channel where it says join, hit that button, and also hit that bell to follow this channel so you have all notifications set to all on. You're watching Allied, America's number three most watched financial news channel, but number one for this subject matter, which shows 24 7, starting early morning and continue all around the day, live, taped, short, and long format. 
And this is where my dedication is for you. Let's continue with some more of the breaking news before we go over more FSC tracks in just a second. So the second part of the breaking news today is the Bank of England. The Bank of England and their economy is dependent upon our economy warn that their citizens will be going into a deep and long recession. In fact, the longest recession of a generation. One of the other major breaking news stories that happened just minutes ago uh, that I failed to report on afternoons, but I'll include in the evenings, was the new jobless claims number. The new jobless claims number was released, and it showed it a massive increase. 7,000 new jobless claims compared to the prior week. So what do you think the number was? Do you think it's 160? Do you think it's 160,000? Let's recap. The jobless claims were 140,000 in April. Then they shot up to 230. Then they went back down to 160. And then they've been going back up, up, up. I would have expected maybe about a 200,000 new jobless claims number, but it wasn't. It was 225,000, an increase of 7,000. Wow. In the big second half, we're going to continue with the latest details on the breaking news of that CPI. Also, cryptocurrency may no longer be what it once was. What happened? All the latest details across the board. But here's another reaction to today's news of that CPI. Randy Frederick at Charles Schwab says, one data doesn't make a trend. Amen for that. That is great analysis. Markets are poised to respond to anything remotely positive. It's kind of like a coil spring. <laughs> I love that. But here is another story we're working on today. And that story, in addition to the Bank of England, are reporting a long protracted recession as its economy contracted, got smaller by 2%. It shrunk by 2% in the third quarter. The other breaking news just minutes ago is, Charles, is Goldman Sachs' CEO. His name, David Solomon. He says he expects the capital markets to recover in the coming months. Do I agree? Yes and no. He says there's going to be reset. There's a reset of valuation expectations. What's important for you to understand, and I want to make this very clear early in the broadcast, is the following. The stock market is going to go down 50% in a recession. Where are we in the recession? We're already in the recession. I was the first to report the U.S. economy would suffer a recession in February this year. When will the recession end? In 2024. Will we go straight down? No. So this is very important for me to record for you in November. I don't want you to get tricked or fooled. As you go straight down, you don't go straight down. Sometimes you go back up, and then you go down more. There's a thing called the Santa Claus rally. It's not a fake name. It's really a real thing. It happens every year in the markets. Markets always traditionally go straight up in December, and then they go right back down in January. The reason why there's a Santa Claus rally has to do with people taking profits at the end of the year and people trying to show profits on against losses on their statement. It's very complicated, but just understand there's always a Santa Claus rally where stocks go up. I don't want you to see anything this week or next week, or any time between now and, and the 31st, in which you say, oh, but things are up, so maybe we don't have a recession, maybe we don't have inflation. No, 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 I don't want you to get confused by it. They all understand it as well, the analysts, because it's a Santa Claus rally. Yes, you can still go straight up, even in a bear market. A bear market is where we're going down, a recession. Even as you go down, you may have both pop straight up. The current situation this week is we are up for the sixth consecutive week, the markets, but don't think of this as a victory lap. It's not. It's just a pause before we go further down in January. In the big second half, we're going to continue with these incredible FSC checks, these big then ISC checks. Then we go into lifetime stimulus checks. These huge, beautiful amounts of money are for Black Friday, and they are for Thanksgiving. Plus, I'll have the breaking news on what has happened to cryptocurrency in the last 24 hours. It is something that we thought was going to be coming, and it is happening. Cryptocurrency may no longer exist as we once thought it once was. I'll have the latest breaking news on that as well in the big second half. I'll see you back in 60 seconds as Mornings LA Live on Air continues. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. 
The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues on a big, bold, beautiful morning. The morning's LA. Late. <laughs> and we have some audio. You know what? <laughs> it is what it is. In this big second half, we're going to go over the big, incredible stimulus at issue. And we're going to go over everything you need to know. Let's cue some beautiful music as well. What's important to understand is that in this big second half, we're going to continue with the stimulus at issue. And that stimulus is teed up because of Dre Powell and what you need to know and where we're going. We'll have more about the latest details on the Fed pivot and will it ever happen. Plus, we'll be going over to the collapse of the cryptocurrency markets and what you need to know. And then we'll be heading over to the latest details on the Christmas countdown. And will it impact stimulus across the board? In the meantime, my reaction to the cryptocurrency reporting of the Universal Health Exchange, which is a short period of time, is a big second half, and we're just getting started. And with that, let's go into the continuation of the big stimulus checks. It started with Congress. Congress coming around and passing checks E through A. And those incredible checks heat up in this big second half. Of the power of the Hawks, of the how so you know bad peas will go into this video and get their incredible checks. We'll go over each of those starting right now as we go into the big second half of the big bowl, beautiful afternoons of Afton LA. How are you? And hope you're having a beautiful day. And thank you for joining me across the board. The audio will clear up shortly. In today's big second half, we continue with these a lot of incredible SSC checks. E through K, passed by Congress. Check E, $7,500. Check F, $4,000. Check G, a wonderful, wonderful 30% off. Check check H, $2,000. Check I, $8,000. Check J, $8,000. And check A, $14,000. You know, it's so important when looking at stimulus to inspire other people. And that's one of the messages we learn on this channel. When you are going for stimulus, always inspire other people. Because that inspiration breeds success. Here's what you need to know, is that we have had success stories in recent weeks, but we've never had a domino effect like the one I'm about to report. It's stimulus N, and what happened? One viewer got it, the other viewer heard about it, and then the third viewer got it as well. So if you're in the live chat right now and you've got any stimulus, I see drag on the live chat, I see other people as well, post your success story because it inspires other people to grab and grab and get as much stimulus as they can. That incredible stimulus helps you and helps so many people across the board. Let's continue with these big items when we go into stimulus L, M, N, and O, and it's all great sums of money for you across the board. At stimulus L, we have massive, wonderful money. And what is it? It is $100,000 on average of a loan industry money. My goodness, that is great. Stimulus M, $4,000 of grant money. Huge. And then we have stimulus N. 
And that is the success story. Stimulus and we had one viewer, John Malou, who was in the live chat on this show. And at Stimulus and he got the tablet. He got the tablet. Yeah, Stimulus and is a brand new tablet, a brand new computer, a brand new free internet. And at Stimulus and what happened? Well, he was in the live chat and he said, I got it. But boy, it gets even better. When I reported John Malou's success story, well, Spelly was listening. And what did he do? He went and got the check as well. He went and got that tablet. And in less than two days, he got the tablet because John Malouf did. Now, why does it get even better? Because what happened thereafter was Lynn Glenn listened to it, and she got the check. That's why you want to inspire other people. That's the true spirit of the channel. Inspiring people to get checks. That's what you want to do. So jump in the live chat. If you've got it on the tablet, inspire someone else. If you've got it in a check, inspire someone else. And when you do that, it helps release the inspiration and the motivation of this incredible channel. That type of motivation is what you deserve. That's where we go. So now let's jump back into the continuation of those FSC checks. Next up is Stimulus O. Wonderful. And this is zero down payment, zero closing costs, and no insurance uh, or, or at time of closing. Then Stimulus B, 3% down for a new refi and $8,000 of closing costs. And thereafter, it continues with those FSC checks. Now let's recap what you need to know about these FSC checks. First... Largest check, $100,000. Smallest check, $8,000. Fastest rallying time, two days. Incredible. Just absolutely incredible. And what is also important to know about these FSU checks is there's a little bit for something of everything. We got it for the home repairs, for the home appliance. We got it for the car. We got it for the free internet. We also got it for the computer as well. And the amounts of money, the success stories keep on coming on in. Yes, this can be you as well. Let's look at some of the success stories that viewers have gotten from this channel. Those success stories are just huge. We had viewers alike, the wonderful dragon getting $170,000. We had uh, Margaret getting multiple checks. We've had Lorraine, $155,000. We've had Johnny helping 20 friends and neighbors getting $200,000. And we've had great success stories in just these days as another viewer, Deborah, getting $18,000 last week. These success stories should be you, and you go on this video, become a member, and get the incredible checks. Next up is the Lifetime Stimulus. The Lifetime Stimulus, my goodness. No one's really explaining to you this when it comes to stimulus that is Lifetime. You understand your benefits going up. Well, that's 8.7%. But you also know that it's four raises? Yes. You got a 5.9% raise last year. You're going to get an 8.9% on top of that. 8.7 on the top of that, but it doesn't end there that thereafter because you're going to have a raise the year after that, and then a year a raise the next year as well. Why? J Powell explains it. The latest details is that because inflation is going to be around two or more years, the Federal Reserve is battling it and predicts with two more years of inflation, you will get two more raises. So you're not going to have one raise, but four raises. And what people don't explain to you is that. By that incredible fourth year, you'll be at the, at the highest level of raises of a generation. Yes, your checks will be the highest amount of a generation. And what about your cost of living? Well, that will drop to the slowest level ever, of course. Because what's going to happen is that the items will get cheaper in the time in which your benefits are going to go higher. That is great news, and that's what's important to remember left and right. Let's go back into the latest details of the breaking news across the board right now. The latest breaking details we're dealing with right now is the fall of the cryptocurrency markets. The day started with one of the biggest players in the cryptocurrency market going into bankruptcy, FX. FX is now today in bankruptcy. And what's important to understand is that this is not a small company, folks. And what's important to understand is there's actually three parts of the story. The first part of the story is what's happening with FTX. FTX is uh, in bankruptcy this morning. FTX filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy of the U.S. courts, led by Seb, Sam Bank, Bankman-Fried, uh, 
freed. And the amount of money? Well, they have uh, assets about 10 to $50 million. They also have liabilities, debts of 10 to $50 million. They have about 100,000 creditors. The immediate relief for Chapter 11 is appropriate to provide FTX Group and its opportunities to assess the situation, says its new chief minutes ago. Now, a reaction to the news, SEC Chairman Gary Gensler, who calls FTX a combination of toxic combination of factors that would lead it to eventually be heard. This is a very interconnected world where the crypto, where very few concentrated players are in the middle. What do you need to know? Well, let's look at the numbers right now. Bitcoin, which was trading at forty thousand dollars earlier this year, is today at sixteen thousand. It was at twenty thousand earlier this week. That resistance level did not hold up. It crashed through. It's now sixteen thousand. Ethereum, which was upwards of three thousand earlier this year, is now twelve hundred dollars. Cardano, which was once a two dollar coin earlier this year, is today thirty six cents. Decentraline has held up, featured extensively on this channel. It went from 70 cents to 48 cents, so that's pretty good considering the stock market as well. The counter to Decentraline, never featured on this channel because I did not like it as a coin, it was once $7, coin name, sandbox, $17 today, 61 cents. Wow, <laughs> that is a wipeout. I'll explain more about this wipeout tonight on Evenings L.A. But coming up next at 11 a.m. is Holidays L.A. And at 3 o'clock, a brand new Afternoons L.A. as well. From the shores of San Marcos, California, we have a lot to go over, and we're just starting a big, bold, beautiful day. From the shores of San Marcos, California, God bless. Go into this video, become a member, and I'll explain more about these stimulus checks throughout the day. Stay informed, stay focused, and stay with L.A. for more.